defense. I think he's ready. And Tyler Ankrum, he had a problem in practice with his brakes. He starts in the back and has an uphill battle. And Nick Sanchez, fourth here in the spring, told us it's not about the points. It's all about winning tonight. Let's now go track some. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise as you are able, remove your hats, and veterans render a hand salute as the William Byrd High School Navy Junior ROTC Color Guard presents our nation's colors. Here to offer tonight's invocation, please welcome Motor Racing Outreach Chaplain Nick Terry. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for just a beautiful night to enjoy this sport that we all love so much. God, it's this amazing racetrack. And so, Lord, before we race, we pause just to honor you, to ask for your hand of protection, your blessing on this event tonight. And so, God, we pray for every driver, their teams, God, that you would be with all involved in this event. God, we thank you for our freedom, those who defend it, those who make this night possible. And, Lord, we ask you to be with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Here to perform our national anthem, please welcome from the Virginia Army National Guard 29th Division Band, Normandy Brass. <laughs> Brass's performance of our national anthem. And what a beautiful way to kick off this evening. We're so happy to have you with us on this first day of November already. I'm Jamie Little, he's Phil Parsons, and that is Michael Waltrip. I have a feeling we're going to have an excellent night of racing. When it, it comes to the playoffs, the that's when it always is, Michael. Day. But we talk about the leaderboard. But the bottom line is, it's not over till it's over. What are the chances we see one of those big moments again tonight? Oh, I don't one driver continues to dominate the field, while the rest of the pack fight for the last three spots. A battleground built on mayhem, the unforgiving paperclip can reward or punish any driver it wants. This year's truck series is on its final lap. Who will punch their ticket? Here in Martinsville, the last lap to Phoenix starts now. And welcome back to the track that we call the paperclip, the half mile. Martinsville Speedway, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Please welcome Zip Chief Executive Officer, Joe Heck. It's the playoffs. Drivers, start your engines! We had qualifying just a few hours ago, so let's take a look now at our Craftsman starting lineup. I mentioned Christian Eck is starting on the pole for the third time this year. Alongside him, Ty Majeski. Yeah, second row, two more playoff drivers, Taylor Gray and Nick Sanchez. Yes. Well, how about row three? Two non-playoff drivers, but guys, they could certainly win this race. Lane Riggs, Ben Rhodes. Corey Heim right behind them, six-time winner on the season already. A winner here at Martinsville a year ago. See you back in row number five, Caden Honeycutt and Jack Wood. And uh, in row six, Raja Karuth, one of our playoff drivers, is starting. Let's see if we can holler at Raja. Hey, Raja, this is Phil Parsons in the Fox booth. You got a copy? 
What's up, Phil? Yeah, I got you. Hey, buddy, great season no matter what happens, but what, are, what what is your and your crew chief, Chad Walters, plan here? Are you guys going to go for stage points, or you feel like you're in a must-win? What's the plan? Can be aggressive, right? Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I think we're in a, a weird spot point. points-wise, but I think at the end of the day, I just got to try to get some good spots here in this first stage and kind of see where we shake out uh, on that. So, overall, I feel really good about our handedcars.com Silverado, and not the best qualifying job, but I felt pretty sporty with how we were in practice. So hopefully the track kind of builds our way and we can have a good night. Rogers, Mike, I know it's been a great season for you. Talked to Mr. Hendrick the other night, and he said how proud he was of what you